yourself, John MacArthur, with your bloodless gospel. You'll see that blood when Sunday comes. And I'm going to take you myself to the mercy seat in heaven. I'm going to show it to you, and if Jesus let me, I'm going to rub your nose in it. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch my YouTube channel. In my video today, I want to talk about should we call out names or we should just teach our own thing? We should just, you know, preach your own doctrine. Live it up, charismatics. Oh, 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 oh. Live it up, you jabbering tongue talkers. Enjoy yourself. Go to your nightclubs on Saturday night and talk to talking tongues on Sunday. This is your hour. I preach your own message. Why do you need to be calling out our people's name? I mean, it's kind of, you know, disrespectful for you to call out, you know, these people. Just leave them alone. Every Christian has a spiritual, ethical, and even a moral obligation to call out false teachers. And if you don't think so, then you're just 100% dead wrong. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. You know, I mean, people will automatically figure out who their false teachers and false prophets are, you know, if you uh, don't call out their names. And... And that is true, okay, but the Bible teaches us that, you know, we need to mark and avoid. And, and in order for you to mark and avoid people, there should be uh, identification of those we should mark and avoid. And that is why in the book of Romans chapter 16, verse from verses 17 and 18, the Bible says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine, which ye have learned and avoid them. Now, what is he talking about here? He's talking about the doctrine. I believe that doctrine matters a lot. So, God is saying to us that we need to mark them, which call divisions, contrary to the doctrine. We are not talking about a personal attack here. We're not talking about attack, I mean, attack on personality. We're not talking about attack on character. We're talking about the doctrine, those who teach contrary to the doctrine. And what does the Bible say? In which uh, we should avoid him. Verse 18 For they that are search serve not our Lord Jesus, but their own belly, and by good words and first speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So, the reason why we need to mark and avoid them because these people they are not serving the Lord Jesus Christ, they are after their own to deceive the heart of the simple. Now, Jesus Christ called out the hypocrisy of the scribe and Pharisee, he called them. I mean, he called them vipers, he called them, you know, snakes, he called them, uh, he called them out. And he also, you know, he called this uh, Herod, he called Herod how? He called him fox, okay? So, we see example in the Bible from our Lord Jesus Christ calling out those that are contrary to the truth of the word of God. And not only that, we see, you know, Apostle Paul calling out Peter and even we took Peter to his face. And the other time, he was calling other people out at the church of Ephesus, okay, because they are doing things that are not right. So, calling out false teacher, I believe that it is not a personal attack and I believe that it is a responsibility of every believer to call out those who are doing things contrary to the truth of the word of God. And that is why every believer... We need to be designing. We need to understand that it is our civil responsibility to be able to stand up for what is right if you know the Bible. And we should mark and avoid. And the question is, how can we mark and avoid if there is no identification? And that is why we need to call those out, those that are contrary to the word of God. All right. And I believe that, listen, now, there are some fundamental truths that we should stand upon. For example, now, now the deity of Christ, the virgin birth, the resurrection of Christ, those are deep breakers, salvation by grace through faith, those are deep breakers. And anyone who teaches contrary to this truth should be called out and should be labeled as an heretic. And the Bible says we should reject them, okay? We speak, we stand, we preach, we admonish and then we reject them. And that is why many videos have been made in this channel, you know, to admonish, to appeal. And then when there is no change, the Bible says 
we should reject them. All right, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.